The reason that they are acting in the ways that they are is because they worry about Tam. They worry about Yuhan. That is the reason why they are acting the way they are. They may lead you to believe, as Simon said, <laughs> funny enough there, it is, uh, they are probably the way they are acting, the way they are, makes you to believe the things that you say, that they'll do this, they'll do that, they don't approve of that. The ultimate reason that he said, now he didn't say the words ultimate, but he emphasized the word worry about you. Um, maybe because I, I mentioned the idea that uh, uh, your parents, since they grew up in the Vietnam War against America, that they despise and grotesque and hate Americans. He said, no, that's not the thing it is. He may feel bitter about things, how they went down. However, being that time has moved on, and that, I, like I said, he shouldn't hold revenge, well, in reality, he really is not holding revenge, according to someone who also grew up in the Vietnam era war, and, you know, knows basically probably the same thing, and knows how to act just like your father and mother do. Um, you know, they, they may not feel the comfortable talking about it, but in reality, he emphasized that they are worried about you, and your decision to want to marry me or be with me or come to America to live. They are worried about that. It's not that they don't want you to, they are just worried in his words. But no matter if you marry me or not, they will support us despite whatever they may say currently because they don't want to see us struggle. That is the thing that Simon said that really moved me along is knowing that I feel relieved after what he said because he understands your culture. He comes from your country. So he knows a thing or two about your country and the culture and the tradition and how people communicate and how people act. That's what one of the things that made me feel good in that couple paragraphs that I just mentioned to you. That your parents will support us no matter what they say. They may say the mean and hurtful things that they say now, things like that I'm poor and um, that I sell drugs to make the money I do, they don't know me to say those things. They're just saying those things out of just anger and the refusal to acceptance. And that's what Simon said. He said that the only reason that they're doing these things is because not that they hate me, it is because they just don't want to it they refuse to accept they are in what is called denial stage as he mentioned now this guy Simon very smart guy that's why like I said yesterday I felt like such a big big weight was pulled off my shoulders after talking to him because I've wanted to try to talk to some kind of Vietnamese person other than yourself wanted to talk to someone who can evaluate this situation without being on either sides. I could not talk to your friend Tram because she understands things from your point of view on because she lives, you know, she grew up with you, she lives over there. She's never been to America. I can't ask anyone here because they'd take my side and say things. I need to get someone who was completely neutral. And thanks to my coworker who has helped me without a miracle helped me to find this Simon guy who has been able to have a neutral side in this thing, understand both sides. I mentioned the thing, all these things, Vietnam, America here, and this whole situation of everything going down, all the possibilities. So, and then, um, he also goes on to continue to talk about the parents, and he mentions, the only reason they are acting this way is because they want sympathy from you is like before they are in the denial stage they don't want their daughter to marry outside their race in other words they don't want your you to marry a black guy or a white guy or anyone other than an Asian guy that's what they want and trust me I believe what he said on that because 
you know how you know I said it to you that it it would hurt me deeply if we had a daughter and she married like a black guy or something like that but in the true reality even though I dislike it I would accept whoever she chooses to date because I know deep down this was her decision this would be our daughter's decision because if she loves this guy she can make it happen she can be with the guy I have no say whatsoever in who my daughter would date I would have no choice but to accept it and this is kind of the idea of what's going on with your parents now so then Simon also goes on to mention as we continue to talk that that is the reason they pressure you is because they don't want you to marry anyone like you mentioned they only want you to marry a Vietnamese guy they don't want you to marry an American or a white guy or anyone else for that matter a Brazilian guy they want you to marry a Vietnamese guy so that's why that is the reason they pressure and bully you around he emphasized the word bully as well as in what's going on with this case because it does seem like that your parents are bullying you around when it comes to the hurtful things that they've had to say but like I mentioned to him and you know I said that I am not taking anger towards any of the things that they say and he says that is a good choice on my part not to say or do anything um, hurtful back to them because it may make me look bad saying that but however he said that I'm taking a good stance at everything as you know that I'm taking a good stance because I think you would have to think that I'm a pretty strong reasonable understanding person because you've given me the opportunity so many times to cancel the paperwork move on but the person that I am I'm always about winning as you know winning that's what I like to do and I love you so much that I can never ever refuse to let you go and even the fact knowing that some other American guy could come there and take you away and knowing how such a great life he can have when I know that could be mine and I still feel that it can be mine because I don't give up that easily and you already know that as from the responses I say every time you want me to cancel the paperwork I ain't giving easy to them and I'm putting up a strong fight and he says and Simon said keep putting up the fight because if you honestly truly love this girl you will continue to fight for her and that's what he told me and I took that to heart because in your culture according to him that it's it's a really passionate thing if their man fights for the woman that they love because uh, in some cases over there I guess um, not all men are like that only a few uh, rare men I guess are like that because most of the other women just treat their women like dirt so anyway me and uh, Simon talked a little more and if they see that you are uh, he mentioned if they see that you are bullied easy then they will do it till you just give in to them and what they want so they want you not to date me and that's why they are continuing to bully you so you don't date me he goes on to mention again for about the fifth time or so it's your choice you Tam it's your choice to come here your parents have no say so once again Simon goes on to mention it boils down to your decision I know what I want and I feel that I think I know what you want